Canva is all about making things easy. That's why our homepage is personalized to you and the work you do. In this video, we'll explore logging in for the first time and how to navigate through the different options you'll find on the homepage, setting you up to confidently start your first design. First, let's log in. Logging in gives you access to your recent designs, projects, and start folders. The first thing you'll notice is the quick create buttons. These allow you to jump straight into a new design. Beneath that, you'll see your recent designs. Select one of these, and you can continue editing right from where you left off. Return to the homepage at any time by clicking this button. You can locate everything else in Canva using the left navigation. Projects is where you'll spend a lot of time. It holds recently opened designs in anything you or your team have created. You can also arrange designs and assets into folders and use these handy filters to view specific items like folders, designs, images, or videos. There's more filters above where you can single out categories. Under these templates, you'll see lots of categories, feature collections, popular topics, and more. With thousands of ready-to-use templates, and there's never any need to start from a blank page. Use the search function here. Type in what you're looking for. Be as specific as possible. And after hitting enter, you'll be delivered a whole range of options. If there's more than one page in the template, hover over the thumbnail to scroll through them. Click something you like and the preview will open, showing you more of the design, who created it, and the button to start customizing. Clicking here opens the template so you can start modifying your very own copy. The Brand tab contains your custom brand templates and brand kits, which are available if you're using Canva Pro, Teams, or Enterprise. These features allow you to upload your brand logos, color palettes, fonts, and resources, making them easily accessible to you and your team when designing in Canva. It really cuts down time searching for the right version and ensures consistency, no matter who from the team is building the content. The Apps tab contains all of Canva's own and third-party extensions, AI-powered apps, productivity apps, and design essential apps. There's an app to help you achieve just about anything. Keep an eye on this section to see what's trending and new. At the bottom is your trash. Remember that document you accidentally deleted? Here, you can restore it and bring it out of the trash or permanently delete it. Back on the homepage, you'll see a search field. This universal search function will display templates as well as your existing content. Account settings are here. Do everything from switching teams, inviting new team members, updating your details, getting help, accessing more tutorials, and signing out of your account. Help can be found here. Type in what you need and the AI-powered assistant will find an answer. Lastly, there's a button that says, create a design. We'll discover what happens when you click this in the next video. So, there you have it. You're now logged in and able to find your way around the homepage and all it offers. From template search to browsing the app marketplace, this is always the best place to begin your next project. Normally at this point in the video, we'd recommend taking a break to explore what you've learned. But we're actually super excited about you experiencing the editor. So we'd suggest pressing play on the next video right now. Let's keep this momentum going.